believe that the uniqueness of Harrix is in the number of different nationalities, in the acceptance of the number of different nationalities, in how the children who go through the school system um, understand that that's part of um, part of where they are, where they are and are willing to certainly accept that and grow to understand that that's part of them. Yes, our current system is broken. I mean, there's there's millions of illegal immigrants and. We have this de facto am amnesty right now, and we can't de deport them all. There needs to be something done to provide a path to citizenship. I think that as a country, we could make the citizenship process easier. But then again, I think that there are ways to do this, and there are ways to do this legally. Obviously, we have a very diverse culture here in America, so people have done it and have been able to achieve this, but I think that in the past, in like the past like decade or so, it's gotten really, really hard. And I think it's it's actually kind of unfair that they want to come here and we're pushing them out. Like we should be open to these people wanting to come and be a part of this great nation that we are. So I think that this needs to be easier for them. It's too hard right now. You eventually have more workers coming in, and with more workers, there would be bigger population that would or go and consume our products and we'd have more people we have more people working here as opposed in other nations and that would bring more jobs back I don't think it's easy to do it legally at all um, a lot of um, immigrants have to kind of find loopholes I guess and come illegally but I think that's just the fault of the system that we need to like you know um, make it easier for for immigrants to become legal because if they're trying like risking their lives to get here illegally through the borders or whatever um, then we're just putting them at harm and we're, caught, we're blaming them when we could be performing to help them instead. We're immigrants, I'm a first generation American and they're just like any other American family, like we all, um, if you're going to make it in this life you have to like go through the system, you have to pay taxes. I mean like I guess the uh, general like stereotype or image that we have of immigrants is that they're illegal and they, you know, they get around the system but that's just not true, I mean that, that's what the majority of immigrants um, speaking from my standpoint personally, like my dad is works just as hard as any other American who might, might be here for more than one generation. I think that anybody can c commit a crime, and I think that stereotyping immigrants that way is actually just wrong. And if anything, against what our society stands for, um, tolerance and accepting, we're supposed to be this accepting place. But how can we how can we exemplify this if we're constantly blaming these people that want to be part of this accepting and tolerant? country. I think the immigrant community, since they come in, they came in and they're relatively well educated, so they've come in and they've helped give more, I feel, um, first of all in the student population there's more more highly in intellectual people in our community because of the immigrant population because they're pushed harder. And there's also like with the parents and the adults, there's more wealth within the community so it's helped benefit our community as a whole with like taxes come in and we're able to get more be like better books and like better technology for our school. Yeah. I definitely think that, especially in Herricks, we have such a diverse community and this is because of immigration. We never would have had this kind of diverse community and we wouldn't have been exposed to the different cultures and um, we wouldn't have been as worldly and as accepting in the other facets of our life. Like if we go on to get jobs, like we'll be more accepting because of the fact that we had immigration and the fact that we have all this assimilation into the Herricks community. Herricks as a community, I can like literally go on for hours about it. I love the diversity of it. I love that I can go to a Chinese New Year's festival. I can go to a Garba festival. These are things that if I was in any other town, I would not be like given the opportunity to even like know what they are. And having so many friends from so many different cultures, I just like feel like more of a cultured person than I would like if I grew up a, a town over. If I lived a street over, I would have been in a totally different place. I would be so confined to one specific culture that Herricks' community and its diversity has opened my eyes to like so many different, so many different aspects that I'm so grateful for.
because going into the world and going into college and at, even after college, like the knowledge that I've gained from other people's diversity and other people's cultures, it, it really makes a difference in how you are as a person and how accepting and open you are to like new to new people, new new cultures, new things. I'm extremely grateful to be growing up here.